the rust, the diseases. I know the rust from my childhood. As you may know, Ethiopia is a, is a major producer for wheat. <clears throat> Most Thailands of Ethiopia grow wheat in the valley, which are highly affected by wheat rust, and it's very big and one of the major uh, crop uh, diseases. So we have like stem rust, uh, yellow rust, and uh, leaf rust. Uh, they are not good. I'm not a pathologist, but I know the rust. Sometimes. If you go to the field, you see the rust. If it's like yellow rust, you can see like the whole field being yellow. They create a big loss. So if I tell you recent developments, in 2010, we had a big yellow rust outbreak. This covered about 600,000 hectares, about one third of Ethiopia's wheat area and the losses were estimated to be in the order of 20 to 30 percent. That uh, knocked out two major varieties. We call Kupsa and Galama, which served the farmers for over 14 years. Uh, that was a surprise. We were scared here in Ethiopia because the small farmers make up 95% of the wheat production in Ethiopia. So if, if we can control rust at an early stage, then that's your, your best chance of, of stopping a major epidemic. Coupled to very favorable weather conditions, then we're, we're extremely worried about the, the, the rust situation this, this year. So rusts are continually changing. They're like the, the flu virus. You get new strains appearing all, all the time. So the biggest threat to, to farmers' wheat crops is when you, you get a new strain come, come into to an area and then varieties suddenly become susceptible. So the, the earlier that you can detect those, those new strains, the, the more chance you have of being able to get effective control and to really stop epidemics. Trying to develop a diagnostic kit, I would say, uh, to uh, try to go to the field and uh, pick some samples and check maybe they're on the, on the field what kind of rust diseases are there, different rusts are there and inform actually the breeders uh, to uh, prepare. I mean the hugely exciting thing about this, this project is that it opens up the possibility to get um, a diagnostic on yellow rust within two to three days. If you do your race analysis here in a couple of days, uh, that is amazing. And uh, we heard about it. Now we have seen with our eyes. This is wonderful, really. Yes, everything of this project is very special for me. I'm very much uh, happy and uh, excited to see that this has happened in less than two years and now you are exercising to, to diagnose this uh, plant disease with using this uh, latest technology. Gene sequencing that's not only very rapid but also mobile so that we can essentially take the lab to the to the field. So this really it's it, it, it's like the, the, the final piece of, of the puzzle that we're, we're, we're putting together here in Ethiopia. It's you have the technologies, you have great genetic resource here in Ethiopia and jointly uh, we can bring a significant change uh, on wheat improvement program. Uh, uh, the support that you're getting from the project, like in terms of time, in terms of detection of these diseases, like in a very short period of time. This is really happening, you know, collaborative work, uh, national, international, and uh, this helps us the resource poor farmers. This is really very good. That it's, it's affordable, accessible technology um, that's simple to, to implement and it, it can be taken to, to numerous locations to give very rapid diagnostics. Well, this will change big. You know, in the past, we're not doing race analysis in Ethiopia. We sent to Minnesota, or uh, to Denmark 
and even earlier to Ikarda in Syria. And this takes a long time. So I think that's it's it's almost going to be a, a revolution that that happens in terms of the the country's capacity to to be able to undertake rapid diagnostics on the really important uh, crop crop diseases. Well, the next step is to closely work together. <laughs>